All right. We're all here. Welcome back to Trendy Teen, the show where I attempt to mold myself into a more societally acceptable human teenager. A brand new trend that is all the rage with teens these days is being gay. I mean, all the cool kids are doing it, so why not give it a shot? If you're not already, be sure to subscribe to this channel for new videos every Thursday and click the little bell down below to be notified every time I post a new video. If you know a gay person, give this video a thumbs up, and if you are a gay person, give this video two thumbs up your boyfriend's asshole. If we're talking about myself personally, I like baseball shirts. I like wearing boots, nail polish, hats, playing sports. And now that you've gotten to know me better, unrelatedly, I date women. I first chose to be gay about two years ago now, and it's gotten me a lot of attention, thank God, because that's the only reason I did it. A lot of you guys ask me for tips and tricks and advice about how to come out of the closet. Simply because I have followers on the internet, that makes me an expert at being gay. It does not mean that just like anyone else, I struggled to come to terms with my sexuality that'd be weak. It does not mean that, like anyone else, I was super nervous to come out to my friends and family. That's only for unverified people. It doesn't mean that while on this journey of self-discovery, I felt scared or alone or vulnerable ever at all. Ha ha ha! Please. What having followers on the internet really means is that for me, this whole thing was just a piece of rainbow cake and you should feel especially jealous that you aren't me. I know what you're thinking. Alexis, it's pretty hard to believe that you're actually a lesbian because you're wearing pink, you still wear makeup, you haven't even cut your hair before, you're not wearing wearing green army color. And that is where you're wrong. My camouflage was wearing camouflage. It's actually a super weird story. I kissed a girl for the first time, woke up the next morning and was just wearing this. <laughs> a lot of people think that lesbians can't be feminine, which is just wrong. They can totally be feminine. As long as they're dating a girl who is masculine. Literally any time I walk into a room, all I see is just an ocean of tits! So because I'm gay, I actually have a really hard time looking at other women as anything more than like my sexual object. So the process actually started off like pretty easily. So I made one musically, and then once you start making one musically, you figure out how to get featured. And once you get on the featured page, it sort of like snowballs from there, if you're pretty. You were talking this whole time? Oh my god! I'm a lesbian, so all I was looking at were your tits. Well, you should have just said so. I wouldn't expect anything less from a queer woman. You may think that sounds like I'm objectifying women, but the truth is you can say anything as long as you are one. A uh, thing with gay people is anytime we're interested in kissing someone, it's only due to sexual attraction. Gay people actually don't ever have romantic crushes on people. We leave that to the heteros where it belongs. Oh, well, hey, so nice to meet you. I'm gay. Oh, sick. I'm actually gay too. Oh, okay, awesome. So, do you wanna f here or should we go in my room? Something that even some gay people have a hard time comprehending is that you can actually only be gay or straight. There's not really anything in between. Sometimes people tend to complicate the sexuality spectrum and they're wrong. Bisexual is a little iffy. Like when you're shopping for your sexuality and you pick it out from the store, I would tend to veer away from bisexual. You know, it's it's a little bit uh, greedy. <laughs> Sometimes crazy people even say that there's a spectrum of sexuality and a romantic spectrum and you can fall at different places on those spectrums and then they also claim that there's a gender spectrum. And my follow-up question is, Where's this room where you're keeping all the spectrums, okay? Let's get them out of here. There's no room for them. So once you've picked your sexuality, there are a lot of ways you can come out of the closet. Be sure to leave a comment and let me know what's your favorite way to come out of the closet or if you end up using any of them. If you're committed to getting attention for yourself, you should probably come out with some flair. <laughs> You can come out of the closet wearing a scarf. You can come out wearing heels. Step the fuck out of that closet, bitch. Come out on your hands. Come out on your knees. Come out on your hands and knees. Slide out. Tiptoe out. Moonwalk out. Shimmy out. Come out while you're eating a snack. Come out while you're drinking some water. Come out brushing your teeth. Come out putting an eye drop. Come out in a hat. Come out when you're ready. <laughs> Just kidding. Come out when other people tell you you're ready. Whoa! <laughs> Holy sh I will see you guys next Thursday with a new video. Whoever and whatever you are is totally valid. Everything's a spectrum.
there's no rules. It's all just based on whatever you feel. You're so valid. If you're going through any of this, my heart is with you. It's not an easy time and it's not an easy thing to go through. So I wish you nothing but the best and that you don't put pressure on yourself. There's no rush to figure everything out. You have the rest of your whole, whole life and your whole life is gonna be so wonderful. Have a great day. It's all good. Never, never. Whenever I'm getting a gay phone call, hang on.